see. This is the first workout in a while where I have prioritized a barbell. And I don't know how many of you have barbells or not, but that is the idea is if you have a barbell, I'd like you to use it. Um, for some of you, you don't have barbells that are heavy. Well, okay, that's why I decided instead of a number of repetitions to give you a period of time that you can do as many as possible. And if you have lightweight, the goal is not to knock yourself out with a thousand repetitions, but it is to work on mechanics and positioning and speed, um, things like that. So what do we start off with here? Um, let's start off with just some arm swings as I talk for a minute. So the way we'll do this is that once we're warmed up and ready to go with barbells and handstands, I'll start the clock and that clock will remain running for 23 minutes. The two minutes of work followed by one minute of rest followed by two minutes of work. So it's a, a two part work to one part rest ratio. Let's go up and down with the arms. It is 60 degrees in the house, in my house anyway. Um, maybe we can bump it up a couple of degrees with the warm up and the actual workout. And then a single arm, big swings back. And then move to the other arm when you're ready. So just remember that every two minute bout of work is followed by a one minute period of rest. That rest magically starts to get shorter and shorter as we continue through the workout. So let's go for a set of inchworms. Let's open up, a forward fold, a little bit of a hamstring stretch, walk it out. Single push up. All right, remember the push ups yesterday? I thought an interesting fact, of course, that 120 wall ball shots. Let's go ahead and get four more of these. Let's limit your push up to just one on each rep. But as you move through, let's, let's spend a little bit more time in downward facing dog. And I want to get this little twist into it. It's like push the hips to the left, hips to the right at least twice before walking yourself back up into standing. And then keep moving through that for about three more repetitions. So coming off the push-ups back onto the medicine ball for the wall ball shots was where the push-ups came into play, right? All of a sudden, you'll understand that there was a double push in that workout. And I think, I don't know many people were able to go prescribed in terms of the height, but what that did was increase your cycle time. So maybe they even felt more difficult than a typical set of wall ball shots at nine foot or 10 feet because the ball's coming back and your cycle time is faster. So consider that when you throw the ball higher, you get a little bit more rest. So after I do a lot of wall ball shots, I can throw the ball, lower my hands, and come back up to catch the ball. But at an eight foot target, there's no time to lower the hands and come back up. Okay. Um, let's actually get into a plank position on the forearms. And so this forearm plank is what you could be doing today instead of a handstand. And the rationale there is even though it's clearly 90 degrees different than standing on your hands, it requires a strong belly, strong midline. So let's continue or let's go from the middle position over into forearm side plank. Hold for about 10 seconds and move over to the other side. And we'll do that twice. So you're still in plank, moving over to side plank. So the idea of this is if anyone's gonna do this workout that has not yet uh, become comfortable or can't manage the uncomfortableness of being upside down, then a forearm plank could be where you go. And now from your forearm plank, 
get into a push-up plank. And let's go from push-up plank into downward facing dog and back into push-up plank. Then side plank. Then back to the middle. And then side plank on the other side. Back to the middle and downward facing dog. And as you're downward facing dogging here, push through the toes to have the shoulders either line up with the wrist or even pass in front of the wrist. And we'll spend a little bit of time here, about 30 seconds. I'm rotating in these little circles in each direction, warming up my wrists. We'll spend time upside down here to practice just getting some blood into the head. So I'm doing shoulder taps. Again, shoulders above the wrists. Now the Thompson tap, left hand to left shoulder, right hand to right shoulder, before finally coming up into standing. Taking a few breaths to let the blood flow back into the body from the brain. So those are two default positions if, if in the end, Two minutes of handstand hold is out of your realm. Get one handstand hold minute and then come back down into plank and mess around with these inversions that are a little easier for you to be in. Does that make sense? Thumbs up, yep. Uh, what we don't have at our disposal here when we're all in our separate places is the ability to spot each other. So can you take both hands up over your head and lock out the elbows? If you start to, in your handstand, feel that your elbows are bending and you can't lock them out again, then just kick down. Don't be so stubborn that you pile drive yourself um, because it would be freaky for all like 20 of us to try and watch you struggle on the ground as you've just landed on your head. Someone would go rescue you though. It just might take a while. Let's go to the empty barbell or an empty or a small dumbbell or a kettlebell and just get a set of regular deadlifts. Okay, so we finished the initial part one of the handstand. Don't worry, we'll get more into that in just a bit. So go for some deadlifts, somewhere between five and 10 deadlifts. And keep that barbell right along your body. It needs to stay on your thighs the entire time, thighs and shins. And then go for a set of hang power cleans. If you just have a dumbbell, get in some of them on one side, give, get in some of them on the other side. All right. Sandra, do you want to use a barbell today? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine. Matthew's using a dumbbell. I think you've got a 50, right, Matthew? So Sandra and Matt, oh, 60. Well, okay. Keep in mind that you can also use a dumbbell um, in the front rack position to drop down. Right, you can do some dumbbell hang cleans with a dumbbell like this just to keep them in center instead of doing all of them on one side. And let's go with a set of strict presses, maybe four or five strict presses, followed immediately by a couple of push presses. Okay, so Daryl, Sandra, and Matthew are the three that are going to be using dumbbells today. The rest of you have barbells. Great. So we've got some presses. Now, once again, with these uh, barbell movements, the idea is you have two minutes to complete in the first round. It's all about power clean. So for those of you with dumbbells, Matthew's got a heavy one, so he can go from the ground. 
right? So cleaning a dumbbell from the ground. You can do that with a single dumbbell and, or you can do it with a single dumbbell in one hand followed by some in the other hand. All right. Let's move back into a downward facing dog. Right after you're done with it, we have we don't we haven't got into squatting quite yet. We'll get there in a minute. So downward facing dog, right? Getting up into a handstand feeling position. Keep that chin tucked in so you're looking back at your toes with one foot as high as it'll go. And put some weight into the hands. Switch feet, press through that toe, lift the foot up overhead. And this is where you're going to have to get a little bit creative in finding different objects like the couch or a chair or a stool or a bench. Getting into your handstand position, backing into the bench and then going up overhead. So this in my upper body, it resembles a handstand, but in my lower body, it resembles a plank. So you can get in some of these L-shaped positions. Go ahead and try a couple of things there. Maria is putting her feet against a wall. She is in a 90 degree angle with the wall with her upper, with her lower body and her upper body is perpendicular. If you are ready to kick up into a handstand like Matthew, Matthew's got it. And then Joanna, your rest positions will be pushing into downward facing dog and then coming back into plank. Again, you can rest however much you want. Hey Andy, put those hands on the ground first and then kick up. There we go. Pam's got the spot against the fireplace. I've seen that before. She's already gotten her 10 minutes in. All right. And then let's move back over to the barbell. So stand up, get your breath. Remember in the workout itself, you'll have a minute break before moving back over to your barbell. Please go with a set of five deadlifts, five power cleans, that means from the ground to the front rack. So deadlift, power clean, push press. Keep that bar next to the thighs, next to the shins. Right, thigh, shin, shins, thighs. And then hang power clean for a couple reps. And then push press. All right, good. Then back up from your barbell and get a set of five air squats. So you had 120 squats in the workout yesterday and they were super light. At least for most of you, you use somewhere between a 10 and a 30 pound medicine ball. So even by Thibaut's standards, he was using a 30 pound medicine ball, but that is, that is a really light squat for someone that can squat 300 pounds, right? Would you rather squat 300 pounds once or 30 pounds 120 times? Well, since you can't squat 300 pounds, I guess I know the answer. Well, Matthew can. Almost. Or no, I think you can. All right. Get a power clean. Get your front rack set up and get in five front squats. The focus here is those elbows are up tall, right? Imagine walking into a wall, elbows are touching the wall and you're dragging those elbows down the wall. Yeah, good elbows up position, Kim. That's great, Joanna, good depth. 
All right, now if you wanna pause in a couple of those squats, just to warm up the depth of that position, then hang out down there. Keep getting deep and hold, get a few of those. All right, when you put that weight down, hang out for 20 or 30 seconds, shake out, and then find a spot that you're gonna use for your handstands. I'll point out that on my handstands, I have dumbbells set up because I like the neutral grip of a dumbbell or a parallette. Notice that I put my hands on the ground first. I find my locked out elbow position. Go ahead and get in a 15 second hold. And play with a little bit of balance here. Allow yourself to push one foot away from the wall. It's a way to pass the time during that period of two minutes. And while you're upside down, I will let you know the idea here behind the handstands is called an AF wrap, as few repetitions as possible. So the, the ultimate goal is to kick up and to hold for two minutes and then rest for a minute. Get your barbell in, get a rest, and then kick back up into a handstand hold and hold it for an entire two minutes. So the minimum amount, if you complete the whole workout, is that you'll be getting in four handstand holds. So a score of four is a perfect score. You know, it's like when someone gets a grade point average of 4.8. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, that was back in the 80s. 4.0 used to be the, the height because then you like, you know, you, there was the maximum and now you can sort of like, you can't have a swimming pool with that's six feet deep with seven feet of water, but you can have a GPA of 4.8. Social commentary. So the idea is once you fall down, once you kick down to take a quick break on the handstands, you get just 10 seconds rest before you kick back up. So I guess you could have a score of something like 13, which means that you never really held a handstand, but you came down for six, six, uh, 10 seconds, kicked up, down, up, down, right? So you're limited to only 13 kickups, something like that. Let's move back over to the barbell. Put a little bit of weight on there. We're gonna have a couple of increases and I know that that's kind of funny because not many of you have a lot of weight there. Ooh, looks like Pam's got some change and some plates. So the prescribed dosage here for the barbell would be 60 kilos slash 45 kilos if we were not under a worldwide pandemic. But since we are, you're gonna have to make the best of what you have. So let's go through three or four repetitions of all of your movements here. The power clean, the front squat, and the push press, right? There's only three movements today. You will repeat the power clean block two times. It's the first weightlifting movement, and then it is the fourth and final weightlifting movement of today. All right, I'm gonna unmute you guys as the question. Somebody, we need to try and make some guesses. Daryl. Yep, it's Daryl. So, we muted Daryl, and now our sound is, is back on. You're okay there, Daryl. I don't know where you're at. Okay, Kim, question. Yeah, my uh, tennis elbow is tweaking me a little bit. So can I sub out one of the rounds of power cleans with the deadlift or something? Yeah. Yes? That, that'll work. Now, I was working with someone the other day on this about really trying to, and I know this is tough, but when you've got the bar in the front rack position and you have to put it back on the ground, yeah. The goal is to get the elbows extended fast and before the hips bend. So I get a lot of pressure off the elbow if I, right, let the, I'm going to do it in slow motion. I 
pop the bar up. The bar is floating, floating, floating. I'm not holding any of the weight yet until I catch it with long elbows and then lower back to the ground. Now, today's not the day to practice that, but that's the idea is to try and get that bar turned over, elbows long, so you can catch the load, catch the weight in the legs. But yes. Okay. Um, if it starts to hurt during, Kim, you can go back and forth. Maybe two deadlifts, one power clean. Two deadlifts, one power clean. Okay. The goal is movement with the barbell, right? Okay. Um, should I, I have a um, kettlebell that's heavier than my barbell. Um, can I do my deadlifts with the kettlebell? Oh yeah, sure, that, would, that makes sense. Okay. You have, you have 20 kilos there on a barbell, right? All right. Mike. Yes. How often do you envision setting the barbell down? If I were to think about doing this with 50 or 55 kilos on the power cleans, I'd probably do sets of four, something like that. So Matthew brings up a point. How often do I envision setting the barbell down? It's going to be quite often, right? I don't want it because you're in indoors. I don't imagine you dropping barbells at all. So err on the side of taking those breaks, the rest, shake out the arm, right back into it. So small sets, short breaks, kind of like yesterday. Um, two minutes is a long time to be lifting a barbell. So take, take some breaks. It's just like a Tabata workout where you're allowed to rest during the work bout. You are not allowed to work during the rest bout. All right. So once you've gotten through some loading here, I want you to move back over to your handstand. And I don't want you to necessarily spend any more time there. But I do want you to like get in position, make sure you're set up. Make sure you know what you're going to do. Let me open it up right now. Um, while people are warming up on barbells. Um, does anybody have any questions about the handstand element of this workout? Yeah, Kim. Better to have your hands closer together or further apart? Stacked under the shoulders? In a position, like if you think of it structurally, this is a stronger position. Yeah. Like with a press, like if I push press a weight, I can hold it longer there than I can hold it out here. Yeah. So the more direct line you have over the shoulder, the tendency is that's a stronger Thank you. Position. Okay. Thank you. Now, I would give you a different answer if you were just handstand push-ups. Uh -huh. Having the hands go wider takes your range of motion a little bit shorter. Okay. But as you want them straight here. But since you're holding it, try and, try and keep that position straight up. All right. Okay, I have, I have 35 kilos or 25. There oh. seems to be a big difference between <laughs> <laughs> How about that? So should I? Um, do you have fives and tens? Yes. Why, I don't don't go do... with, why don't you go with the 35 kilo for your first set of power cleans? Okay. Then, then do front squats with 35 kilos. Okay. So yours is, you're going to be doing something different while other people are pressing. And then for the presses and the final set of power cleans, I want you to use 25. Okay. Does that yeah. work? I could get like maybe five uh, push presses. And because you're indoors, let's stick with uh, 25 going overhead. Okay, perfect. And then maybe someday soon you can get some two, two kilo plates. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Yep. Thank you. All right. Hi. Yep. Uh, Joanna? I do it at 30 a little heavier or keeping it at 25 as I do by. For which ones? 
for deadlifts. You know, I'm doing Let's one. Let's go 30. Go 30. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. We'll have that one minute break in between a handstand and the barbell to, to reconfigure your weights. Oh, I have two barbells. Oh, there you go. That's another way to do it. And you have an attendant, right? <laughs> oh, I see. I thought you had a French boy that was helping you during the workout. Everyone should have a French boy. Right, Sandra? The warm up. Okay. So I'm about ready to start here. What about you guys? Okay. Yeah. One of these. What One of the things is that you'll have a chance to continue warming up during the workout because you're going to do a barbell movement, a one minute break, a handstand hold, a one minute break. And across that six minute period of time, you'll have some reflection on is this load right? What do I need to do to change? We can open up for questions, things like that. Any questions before we start the 23 minute running clock? So we do two minute barbell work, then one minute break, two minute handstands, one minute break? Correct. Are you going to call out the times? I will not only call out the times, but I will have this clock sitting right here as well. And I know when you're in a handstand, that's not going to help you. Two minutes. Two minutes is the maximum of but I will be there to um, I'll be counting you down. I'm, I'm not doing this workout right now. And Mike, a stupid question, but the power cleans are from the ground. Power cleans from the ground. Uh, one note on mechanics. Remember that when you pick up the weight up, you are halfway done with that movement. Right, the other half of the movement is to get it back to the ground by keeping the bar closed. So don't get sloppy with uh, the back mechanics weight back down to the ground. The same goes for going from overhead back to the ground. Okay. Any questions? Right. Just the last word is that. Um, for this first two minute bout, you are going to understand that two minutes is 120 seconds. And each second is going to feel like a little bit longer than a second. My point is don't go out too fast. And please count your repetitions. Right? I'm going to ask you to write your repetitions down for the barbell movement. So you'll have one big number. 80 or something like that and then you'll have a smaller number for the number of handstand holds the number of times you have to break from your handstand holds so here we go we'll start in 20 seconds this first one is a power clean from the ground to the shoulders every time ground to shoulders all right this is where we begin Three, two, one, go. Power cleans. Let those elbows get long before lowering it to the ground. All right. Maria is one who's going heavy from the beginning. She's got 35 kilos here. Boom. Yeah, looks good. Great front rack position there on the receiving. Solid. Keep moving through it, Maria. We're 45 seconds into this, right? A couple of repetitions. Take that break. All right, you see Lori's going from the hang. Lori Nelson with the world's master's division record, right? What was it, 43 kilos on your clean? We're one minute and 15 seconds in. So think about it this way. You just have 45 more seconds to move and then you get a full minute break. 
All right. I love the scene of barbells next to glass tables. It's so dangerous. <laughs> 30 more seconds. All right. Last 20 seconds. Here we go. Push for one more repetition or not. We have eight seconds. In two, one, rest. Please write that number down. Okay. That's what two minutes of barbell work feels like. Write your number down and you have 40 seconds to find your handstand spot. So start moving over towards your handstand spot. There's 30 seconds left. Joanna? Joanna? I have a quick question. Okay, quick, because you have 20 seconds to get in position. You start exactly like you start it as close to a deadlift as possible, not a high hip position, a low hip position. 10 seconds. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, go. So if you guys were really clever, you would flip up your iPhones upside down and just stand next to the wall with your hands up. That would be a good way to do it. Okay, and already we're closing in on the first minute. You have 10 seconds left until the top of the minute. Now, some of you might be strategizing to take one break. And if you were, Planning on taking a break. The break should probably be about right now. We're a minute in. You can take 10 seconds off and then move right into your position again. Okay, and right back up. What you're calculating here, what you're counting is how many breaks you take. How many, actually it's how many times do you have to kick up? All right, 40 seconds left. So you count your original kick up as a one. If you take a break and then kick up again and hold until the end, then your score is two. You have 23 seconds left. This is your final 14 seconds. Here we go, kick back up, Daryl. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, if you got, did anyone get the entire two minutes? I All did. right, Christine got it. Anybody else? Yeah, Pam. Pam got it. All right. Yep, Lori got hers. Two minutes is two minutes, whether or not you kick up and do it prescribed or if you have a modified version of that. So write that number down. If you kicked up twice, if you held it for a minute, you kicked down for 10 seconds and then you held it for 50 seconds, that's a score of two. So in 20 minutes, 20 seconds, we're gonna start the next barbell movement, which is a push press. And you guys are gonna notice that it's gonna be hard. Maria is doing front squats. Yes, okay. Okay, so this is a push press. We're starting in five seconds. <clears throat> Oh my goodness. In three, two, one, go. Max repetition push press. You'll notice Joanna's doing deadlifts. She's going to skip the overhead position today. And Maria's doing some relatively heavy front squats. Yeah, good overhead position, Kristen. 
Good leg drive, good lockout. All right, we're 30 seconds, 35 seconds in. You get that extra clean. And we're closing in on the one minute. Here we go, Sandra. Yeah, good lockout. You've gone for a minute. All right, Matthew's got the single dumbbell presses. Same as Daryl. Daryl, push those knees out to the side slightly. Not quite so direct forward. Try and keep those heels flat. Daryl, keep the heels flat on the ground. You have 40 more seconds. All right, Pam and Andy back up overhead here for another 30 seconds. The question is, do you go unbroken here for 25 seconds or do you put it down and go for another set? Here we go, you got another set of, you got 14 more seconds. Pam put hers down. Andy's going for some jerks. Three, two, one, and time. Nice job, Andy. Uh, that's time, Daryl. Okay, so you have a number there. How many did you get, Kim? 15. 15, all right. Sandra? 22. 22. Okay, that break is halfway through. So this will be interesting, right? You just got, you just got done pressing. You got 15 more seconds of rest, Daryl. Or are you on your own clock? All right, here we go. Find your handstand position and three, two, one, go. Oh, good kick up, Sandra. Sandra, pull your hands away from the wall a little bit. There we go. All right, we're 15 seconds in. All right, try and keep your gaze for the most part at, at your computer screen or tuck your chin to your chest and look to the opposite wall, right? Rather than looking at your fingers. Hey, Sandra, go into a forearm plank. Yeah. So just a plank hold for a while if your wrists are giving you problems. So take it. If you wanna do a one minute hold and then drop into the plank, at least you're holding midline stability the entire time. 45 more seconds. This is the second set of handstands. If you have forgotten where you're at, I understand if that's the case. Here we go, 33 more seconds. Way to go, Pam. And this is your final 20 seconds. All right. 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one, and rest. All right. This is our halfway point for the workout here.
Excuse me, Mike. Yep. You just want one number from the barbell, correct? Uh, at the end of the workout, yeah, I'll just, you'll add up those numbers. So I'm just keeping. Part, yep, just keep an ongoing. So, up. so you, you're probably somewhere in like, somewhere between 30 and 45, something like that. Well, no, but that's okay. <laughs> I've got it going heavy. I'm at 27. All right, well, that's. I'm with you, Andy. Yep. Yeah. This is front squats. This is front squats in three, two, one, go. All right, there you go, Maria. You've got those metal fives. That's right. Here we go. Nice deep squats. Try and keep those elbows up, Andy. You're halfway into this. Twenty more seconds. Twenty more seconds or a mi another minute? Oh, sorry, a minute and twelve seconds. Yeah, you want more points, right? The longer period of time, the more points you get. You're in the downhill section here. 55 seconds. Great depth, Kristen. Way to get down into that squat. Nice depth, Kim. All right, we're moving on in that final 30 seconds. Oh, puta. Oh, puta. <laughs> go, we're featuring Matthew for the next 20 seconds with that single dumbbell front squat. <laughs> the velvet painting of the dogs playing pool. <laughs> In five seconds, three, two, one, rest and write that number down. Okay, one more minute break. So again, if you're walking around going like this because your wrists hurt, you've already had enough stimulus being upside down, you can hold a forearm plank. You can do a hand, a hand or a headstand in dolphin. Right, Maria? Yes. Put the forearms down, put the head on the ground, and walk yourself up to the wall. And now we're ready to go in 20 seconds. That's a good way to get your inversion without actually being, putting some stress on the wrist. Does that makes sense, I Sandra? Try that. So forearms on the ground, and you can even just do a downward facing dog with the forearms, dolphin pose. You don't even have to kick up into a handstand. Three, two, one, go. All right, you're at the one minute mark.
All right, 30 more seconds to go. In 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. That is round three. All right, 45 second break. Thirty second break. So this is the final final barbell movement. Are you guys glad to be back on the barbells again? Yes. Yes. Oh, here we go. That's the answer I was looking for. Okay, ten seconds. We're back to power cleans again. This is where you're going to rack up some numbers here. Three, two, one, go. We're going to go back with mute again. All right, five or six reps, quick break. All right, that's the top of the minute. Here we go, final minute of barbell work for today. Here we go, Sandra. Nice jump, Daryl, 45 seconds. All right, last 30 seconds. Shoot for two blocks of unbroken movement. So get some reps here. Within 30 seconds, you can get like 15 seconds of movement, a five second break and another 10 seconds. I think that equals 30. In five seconds, three, two, one rest this is your last rest segment and that should be good news because you just have one handstand remaining in today's workout does anyone want to switch Instead of a handstand here, you can do one more barbell movement. No, oh, no, no, <laughs> no, really. No. Dean says yeah. no. Yeah, Joanna, you're you're. Let me take you out. You're on mute. You've muted yourself. So maybe I can do deadlifts or. Oh no! Do do plank. That's, plank. Yeah, I think that's good. Ten more seconds. Can I try headstand? Oh yeah, for sure. You can change up your inversion any way you want. Three, two, one, go. Oh, headstand not against the wall. That's great.
Okay, that's 30 seconds. All right, we're closing in on the first minute here. First minute of your final two. Final minute. All right, final thirty seconds. All right, keep pushing it. Last twenty seconds. <gasps> In ten. Three, two, one, and rest. All right. That was the most fun you could have in 23 minutes. Ready to go. Especially for those of you that already had your 10 minute handstand in. For those of you that don't yet have it in, at least you have a feeling of what that might be like. Christine, did you do, you did 10 times one minute? Is that the way yeah. you did yours? Okay. So what I'd like to know today is your first number is the barbell number. That's going to be the big number. Your right. second number is the number of times you kicked up. That number will be at least five, but for I think everybody, it'll be more than that. Um, and then give me an idea of um, what your barbell was. You may have changed it during. If so, that's fine. Let's just, who's ready first? Kim, you ready? Um, my uh, number was 40, 55, 89, and 8. 89 slash 8, and what? And I did a 20 kilo barbell, and then a 50 pound kettlebell for my deadlifts. Oh, yeah, you got a heavy one there. Yeah. The 20 kilo? How about you, Andy? I did 62. Can you can you find at uh, fifty kilogram? Okay, and what's the other number? Fourteen kickups. Great. Four four three three. Got it. But okay. my rest was a little long. So give me your first barbell number, kickup number, and weight. Pam. Eighty six. Seven. Sixty three pounds. Yoga. All right, great. Joanna. Uh, the number of everything, 55 for barbell. Oh. And eight breaks for me. Okay. I was I had two barbell, 25 for cleans and front sports, and 30 for deadlifts. All right, Kristen. Um, I did 82 for the barbell. Uh, 13 kickups or breaks. Great. 25. I did hamstick. All right, Maria. I did 70. And then half was with 35, and then the other half was with 25. Okay. And the number of breaks? And then seven. Hey, Matthew? Under 21, 16. 
Okay, 60 pound dumbbell, right? Yeah. All right, Sandra? Um, eight, uh, 98. Woo! 25 kilo. Okay. And six. Okay, Lori. Uh, 109. Woo! Okay. And, and zero with what I was doing. So five, five, or four sets. That was four, rather. Yeah. And then 20 kilos. All right. Christine? Um, 80. Seven. And 25 kilos. All right. Well done, everyone. Okay, this is that was fun. For those of you that have other people in the house that do CrossFit, uh, there's a class at 4 p.m. today. So this section right here is going to be filled up with another set of names. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Enjoy have the day, everyone. Bye, Kim. Bye, Kim. Bye, everybody. And finally, notice that in the email that I sent to you guys, as well as on the blog, there is a there is a thirty minute mobility session for hips and low back. Don't let Jordan fool you. When he starts the video, it says we're going to do a ten to fifteen minute session. It's thirty minutes, but even better. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched Matthews already. You can watch Math. You can be. Uh, I invite you to the warmth and coziness of Matthew's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I would love for y'all to, to come hang out virtually. Yep. Show us the dog. Definitely. Show us your, um, show everyone right now your, uh, your, the masterpiece in the background. It's hideous. Oh, here's my dumbbell. Uh, dogs playing poker. Yeah. Oh, no. And you know, the clash. Clash, combat rock. And uh, dark side of the moon. Whoa, oh, wow. you gotta have the classics. <laughs> yeah, Matthew forgot that 1970 was 50 years ago, but that's <laughs> a good thing to forget. Some of us were around then. I know, yeah. some of you guys <laughs> forgot about it. I believe, I believe the trivia on the Pink Floyd is that was the very first CD of rock and roll, and probably the second CD after um, the 1812 Overture with Real Cannons. I believe that was the very first CD printed. Huh. So I was told. Good trivia. Oh. All right. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Hey, okay, guys. Bye. Thanks for coming. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Mike, you're still recording. I know. Let me hit the...